When I was 17, I was homeless. And so I spent many nights sleeping in my car in the Best Buy parking lot up, um, up top level in San Rafael. Because I, I didn't have parents, my mom had problems with drugs, my dad, I met him when I was 17, in jail through a television screen. Um, I just, I had to work, I was a hustler. So I was doing any kind of job that I, I could do. I was working 80 hours a week and I knew that the only thing that I had for me was to be the first in my family to go to college and I got accepted to UC Berkeley on a full scholarship. Zara, and um, she had this organization out here in Marin, Ambassadors of Hope and Opportunity, which she was telling you about. And through this organization, she was able to connect me with the, the community, to internships, to jobs, to things that were gonna be able to help me get on that path. And, and so about five years ago, there were some youth that had been helped by the program, and they wanted to have a way to give back to ambassadors, and they say, hey look, um, there's not enough community in the program. We actually wanna meet on a weekly basis to come up with projects that we'll be able to um, get youth to work on and then give them back to the community. And so this I actually thought of and been thought about five years ago, but we didn't have the resources in order to make it a reality until recently. And so about a year ago, that's when we started doing all the planning. That's when you probably had somebody come up into your art classes and tell you about the mural. And a lot of you had raised your hands about creating the birds and the leaves for this mural. So we worked on this throughout the entire summer. It was a really labor intensive project. It took over 30 high schools with 1,200 youth in order to make this possible. Um, I worked on it about 12 hours per week. Um, as you can see here, this is the Autumn of Abundance here. Um, this is my very first painting that I ever did, and I'm really glad that some people can recognize that it's Tupac. So I'm a rapper, he's a rapper. I want to go ahead and introduce Sam because he's going to talk about um, his participation in the project as well, and some of the things that he had contributed into painting and drawing. So, uh, Good morning, Sam Marin. Uh, I am an alumni of Sam Marin High School. I started to go to college, but unfortunately due to some emotional and family troubles, I eventually wound up homeless. I was couch surfing for about two months, and then basically that was it. Something came up is I found out about an art project that was going on over the summer. I started going to it, and then I, got I just got really involved in it because, you know, I was expressing talent, and I could just put myself out there, get my thoughts out. There are lots of people there who like to who really understand the issue, who care about the issue, who sort of are involved because of like Kayla, she was homeless. So she knows what this is all about. The hungry, hungry caterpillar, which represents what mankind is sort of built up to as the consumer sort of taking all the leaves, chowing down, not really thinking about what its effect is on what it's eating. Currently, we're in the chrysalis stage where we've basically done all the eating, but we're thinking about it, you know, we're getting to another stage in our lives where we think about what we're doing, we're contemplating the consequences, so we can eventually become the butterfly. The butterfly, which is part man, with all of the animals, because it's not only us that's part of the earth, it's everything that's part of the earth. Because you, without knowing it, were actually working with youth that you probably would have never met or worked with before, other than without this project. A lot of you had come up here before we had started speaking and looking like, oh, this is my leaf, I found it. And you know, you're in the midst of all of these other spirits, all of these other bodies who had basically manifested the vision of the world that they wanted to live in on here. And that's what this wholeness is about and this creation. And so that's why we decided to do the singing tree.